Hello friends. Welcome to my new NetBeans IDE tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, how to integrate NetBeans with a third-party application server. NetBeans is an integrated development environment for developing Java applications. In order to develop enterprise web applications in NetBeans, it is required to integrate NetBeans with Java EE application servers such as JBoss, WebLogic, WebSphere, Tomcat, Glassfish etc. In this tutorial I will teach you, how to integrate NetBeans with Glassfish server. The procedure is very similar for other Java EE application servers. This tutorial will provide you an idea how application servers can be integrated with NetBeans. I have already downloaded and installed Glassfish server on my machine. Let's browse to the home directory of Glassfish server. It's in the folder C program files Glassfish 4. Moving back to NetBeans. Let's integrate Glassfish server with NetBeans. Go to Services tab. Open servers list. Currently, it has no server integrated. Right click on it and select Add Server. Add Server Instance dialog box gets open. In the Servers list, choose Glassfish Server. You can also integrate with other servers as well, the procedure is very much similar. Provide a name below and click Next. Server Location section of the Add Server Instance dialog box gets open. In this dialog box, it requires server installation location. Click on browse and browse till the home directory of the server. In our case it is, C program files Glassfish 4. If you haven't downloaded and installed Glassfish server before, then you can click on download button to install, after accepting the license agreement. Click Next. Domain name and location section of the Add Server Instance dialog box gets open. Provide a domain name and location where server will be deploying and running web applications. In this tutorial, I will create a new domain by the name Domain1, at the location mentioned. You see admin port is 4848, and HTTP port is 8080. Keep it as it is. You can also provide username and password, but I keep it as blank and click finish. You see it has started creation of personal domain. After a while a pop-up opens, stating that domain creation successful. View the results. Click Yes. In output window, you can see information related to the creation of new domain. It displays information related to important ports such as Admin port is 4848. HTTP instance port is 8080. And debug port is 9009. Let's move ahead and start Glassfish server. Go to Glassfish server icon in the server list. Right click and select start. It starts Glassfish server for us.
after server gets started. Go to Glassfish server icon once again. Right click and select view domain admin console. It starts admin console on port 4848. Thus, Glassfish server got successfully integrated with NetBeans. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to integrate NetBeans with a third party application server concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.